Hi everyone, welcome back to you, me and the family, or if you're new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, for anyone that doesn't know. I'm a mum in the southeast of England and I have four children, ranging from 15 years down to a two-year-old. And today I have bought two Londies magic bags from the Too Good To Go app. Um, I get quite a few from Londies because they are really good and I'm always passing that way. So that's why I tend to have a lot of these bags to show you. But it's also good because it can show you what type of things you can get in these magic bags. For anyone that doesn't know, Magic Bags from the Too Good To Go app is an app that you download and it's trying to prevent food waste in your local area. You download it, you tell them your address and how far you're willing to travel for these apps, uh, for these bags. And any retailers that are participating in this food waste prevention app will tell you if they've got any bags available and if they have you can buy them you buy them on the app they range from about three pounds up to about 360 380 on average you do get the other odd one that's a bit higher but they are well worth their money restaurants do it as well and cafes like greg's starbucks subway and all that lot but no they're, none of them are local to me, so I don't get them very often. But I think they're great. They're a great way to stock up your freezer on bread products most of the time with the odd treat for the kids and the husband. These cost me £3.34 each, and like I said, I did pick up two of them. Um, I will put one bag aside and show you what's in one bag, and then I'll pull the other one out and show you what's in that one as well. So here we go. I do apologise, we're in my dining room because it is dark and wet at the moment and this is the best light in the house. But you might get a bit of a glare from the light because it is above the table at the moment. To pull off right at the top, i got some Warburton crumpets. Nathan loves crumpets. I've already got some out for him, so these will go in the freezer ready for when I need some more. Bread products like crumpets, bread... Um, pastries and like that freeze really really well and just because it says best before like the 24th of November as long as they look good and taste good you can still eat them they're not going to do you no harm they're just the shop guidelines they can't sell them past that date so Warburton crumpets got some hot dogs hot dog rolls four in a four in a pack these I will probably put in the freezer for when we have soup. We like a roll to dunk in our soup rather than bread. Well, me and Shane do, Kobe prefers bread. Or I've got some tinned hot dogs in the cupboard. Might use it for that one night. We've got these, two bags of sea salt proper popcorn. I like popcorn, but I do prefer these sweet and salty mixed together. But these will still go. Either me or Shane will eat these. Great way, great thing. Put these in the packed lunches as well. Much healthier for them than crisps. And adds a bit of variety to their packed lunches as well. Oh, we've got 20 mini flapjack bites. One ninety nine. they would have cost. We all like a bit of flapjack in this house. So I would personally say, straight off the bat, with all this is more than the £3.34 that I paid for this bag and there's still more in there but at the end of the video I'll spread it all out and show you what I got so you can see if it's worth it I got a salted caramel brownie the kids will like that, that can go, that's a great packed lunch item or in the husband's lunches I got a Hovis medium cut freezes really well if you've got too much bread or you can make it into breadcrumbs by dehydrating it and then whizzing it up and then you've got them for making breaded fish your own chicken nuggets putting on top of lasagna to add a bit of crunch or you could make your own croutons like I'm planning on doing because I have got a bit too much bread at the moment but like we have a family of six we go through a loaf each time we have sandwiches and that anyway so it won't last very long here we got sorry there we go another loaf of the medium cut hovis 
See, I've never, I haven't bought branded bread for quite some time. And with these magic bags, we're getting great quality for half the price. And then the last item we got is a Cadbury Dairy Milk Mystery Bar. And this is not a small bar, guys. This is the 170 gram bar. And the expiry date isn't until April of next year. So either they've got too many of these or they're not selling them. So they're just trying to get rid. So that's what I've got there. Steve will absolutely love that all Chloe. So I'll put the bag on the floor. And then I'll pull the other bag out and show you what we got in that one. This one looks a bit different. So that's a bonus. Sometimes if you buy multiples, you get the same. Or if you buy within a couple of days of each other, like multiple bags, some items are pretty much the same. But I'm not complaining. It's it's good food. It stops it from going to waste. But in this bag, we've got a Belgian white chocolate and raspberry cookie. I have had one of these in one of the bags before. It was well and truly broken up. But I still ate it. It was delicious. So that one is mine. The kids can have all the other stuff. We got a pan of chocolat, which is all good. Anyone that watches my films regularly, my kids love these type of things, so they have them for breakfast. We've got a croissant. Again, the kids love them, so that will do the kids for breakfast. Oh, knickknacks. A grab bag, nice and spicy. So I'm guessing these will probably be good for Steve because he likes spicy food. So they will probably end up in one of Steve's packed lunch boxes. I do show the videos of what I pack Steve and the kids for their packed lunches. If you ever want any ideas, go check out the videos. They'll be in amongst all the playlists. I got a double decker. No one other than Steve eats them. So that will go in his treat box. We got another packet of hot and spicy, or nice and spicy knickknacks. Another double decker. This box, this bag looks like it's ideal for Steve. And then we've got some more bread, which again I am not complaining about. We've got another Hovis. So, so two of these loaves will probably go in my freezer and two will stay out. And then we've got a Hovis, best of both, 50 50. This is what Chloe prefers. So I'll probably keep this loaf out and one of the Hovis white ones. And then the other two will go in the freezer. And these will be what I make the kids pack sandwiches with this week. So that's that. And then there's one more item in the bag. We have another salted caramel brownie. So, I mean, these are really big bricks. So if I want to put them in the kids pack lunches, I could half them. And that would be a big enough treat for them. And then it prolongs the bag as well, makes it go that little bit further. So what I will do now is I'll pause the video. I'll put this all out on the table so you can see what I got. And you can see whether it was worth the what I paid for it. Okay, so I've laid it all out. I think it's well worth it. I mean, we've got two big bags of popcorn, two packets of knickknacks, two brownies, two double deckers. And then we've got some pastries, a big bar of dairy milk chocolate. Flapjacks that are worth one ninety nine, and then we got four loaves of bread as well. So this all cost me just six pounds sixty eight, and I really do think it's worth it. So guys, go download the app, add in your postcode so that you can see what retailers are part of the waste food project, and do your part to try and prevent food waste. And put in the comments, if you have downloaded the app and bought some magic bags, what sort of stuff you've got in them, whether you thought they were worth the money or not so much. Okay, if you are new here, please give the thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd love to have you. I do quite a lot of these videos now showing you what you can get in these magic bags. And I have set myself the mammoth goal. I mean like mammoth. To try and hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas. And I'm getting there. I really, really am. But it would make my year and my Christmas day extra special if I could get there. So, yeah, if you do like what I do, please subscribe. 
and then don't forget to hit that notification bell so that YouTube tells you every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out. I'll let you get on with your day. I'm going to get this lot put away and I will see you on the next video. Bye.